Hi everybody, today I am at the Carson Elementary School Garden and I was pulling weeds when I came along something really cool so I thought we could make an activity out of it. So let me go show you guys what I found. Right in here inside of our tomato plant, I found a monarch caterpillar. And a monarch caterpillar will eventually turn into a monarch butterfly. And if you don't know what a monarch butterfly is, that's just those big, beautiful orange butterflies. And I thought a fun activity would be learning the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. So let's get started. Monarch butterflies go through four total stages of life. The first stage pictured here is the egg stage. Butterfly eggs are tiny and round. The female butterfly attaches them to leaves or stems of plants that will serve as a good food source when they hatch. In the second stage, the egg will become a caterpillar like we saw in our tomato plant. When the egg becomes a caterpillar, it enters the feeding stage where it will rapidly grow. The third stage happens when a caterpillar hangs upside down from a twig or leaf and spins itself a silky cocoon or molts into a shiny chrysalis where it will transform its body. In the final stage, the butterfly emerges from the cocoon or chrysalis as an adult. The females will eventually attach their own eggs to a leaf or stem and the whole cycle repeats. To help better remember the monarch life cycle, I put together this craft. And all you need to do to complete this craft is some paper, some markers or crayons or colored pencils, a pencil, and some tape. First thing I do is sketch out all of my pieces of the life cycle. So first I start with the leaf and then I put a little egg on it. Then I will draw out a caterpillar. Then I will draw out the chrysalis. And finally, I will draw out my butterfly. drawing out all the stages of life, fill them in with either marker or colored pencil or crayons. Then very carefully and with the help of an adult, cut out your stages of life so that way you will be able to put them in order on a separate piece of paper. Now label each stage in the life cycle. So first egg, then caterpillar, then chrysalis, and finally butterfly. And finally, use tape to put each stage of the life cycle in its correct spot. And now you have a finished monarch life cycle.